a weekend oh, of the runners. Yeah. Uh, we are joined by the victor, Mr. Cab. Congratulations. That happened. That Indeed. did happen. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I'm still getting over the fact I actually felt my heart going crazy during that Yannon fight. I haven't felt that since a Rangers playoff game a few years ago, so I'm a little confused. <laughs> but okay, thanks. So, ten minutes. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I may have had the bow, the recorder, the raft, and the silver arrows ten minutes in. I did not have a candle or a way into the level eight spot. I hit Golo at 18 minutes. Well, true, <laughs> but finding the candle was much less of a concern for you at that point. Yeah, that, that we've got. Kevin I'm not here. sure how that one happened. So, Kevin, we'll, we'll let you unmute yourself, and uh, GG's to you. So, what ended up happening is Mr. Cab grabbed the raft out of three and cashed in immediately had everything but a candle at 10 minutes in. Jesus, no wonder. I guess it was just a right order seed and my usual route just kind of didn't go well. Yeah, just just turning and cashing that the raft in, just just open the seed and, and this seed was something else. Um, we've seen bad seeds, this was not bad. The overworld was horrible, but the dungeons Awful. were honestly really easy. I was having a horrible time in I was terrified going into nine because I had like maybe maybe nine hearts and no ring and I was oh well it was the classic situation of right if I was able to do this I have to assume my opponent was able to do the same thing and this is crazy now thank I goodness was... Fred forgot to randomize the red ring uh, was it easy in nine not, it, not necessarily easy, but it was it was right on the path to Zelda, if I remember. Oh, that's disgusting. No, it's <laughs> off in some memory. obscure corner someplace. So what I was doing was uh, I did I did standard seven eight left bow without anything. Uh, ended up having a nasty almost full clear seven. Anyway, went the wrong way on my second trip. But yeah, I went I went uh, three and then got the raft and all. But then I did the world wrap and did the forest stuff. Because uh, the ladder was the Armos item. Then, uh, didn't end up getting the candle, so I was gonna go back there, but turns out that was where 9 was anyway. Uh, so yeah, then I just did 2. Didn't like how I played in 2. It's, it's, all, it's, never, the, it's never the strong enemies that get me, it's always the, the keys and the, the gels and the skeletons, apparently. Oh, well, the skeletons were a little bit extra chunky today. They had their calcium. Yeah. yeah those, those weren't skeletons, those were zombies. But yeah, do, doing the being basically in candle go mode at 10 minutes in, because like, I was thinking, oh wow, this was pretty fast go mode, especially, yeah, just with how it ended up working out. I went to, I had some pretty fast dungeons too, so I was actually pretty confident that I wasn't, not really that I was going to lose, but more so that I was not doing horribly, but I guess, yeah, doing, doing that route really paid off. GG to you. No. Thanks. And, and I mean, GG, yeah, this this ended up being a, a few lucky guesses along the way, too, because you're saying you full cleared seven. I think I went to five rooms in seven and got the Triforce, and then I never went back in again. And so by then, you know, seven, then uh, the level eight, the level one spot for level eight, and just noped out of that. Got the ladder, got the raft, got the bow in three as well. Yeah. And then went to one and you, and just got everything else, and... Off to the races. Yeah, y'all yeah, were synced up almost. Um, I think, Kevin, you were just like a couple of seconds behind Mr. Cab going into three. Uh, y'all kind of taking the same annoying, none of these dungeons are letting me in. Y'all hit three about the same time, and then, like I said, the real difference was uh, cashing in the raft versus going to um, the Lost Hills. Yeah, well, it happens, and I mean, it, take, it takes guts to go to Ganon with that uh, equipment. I didn't have enough guts. I was, uh, if you see, I've got over 200 rupees. I was, uh, my plan was, since I knew the ring was at the A shop, just pop by that shop, get a blue ring before heading into nine, get a potion and the uh, large secret on the way there, just since I ended up skipping those. Yeah, if you watch the VOD, uh, you'll see me grab the large secret before I go into Recorder Lake. 
And, you know, it, it wasn't the nicest large secret despite the number, but I was very much considering that blue ring purchase because, like I said, I was terrified. I grabbed a potion on the way in, too, and I'm just going through nine thinking, oh, God, I'm going to get caught in a Ganon loop, and it's going to be awful, and I'm going to get knocked out of the tournament because of just green tunic Ganon fights. Now, you, uh, you, you were pretty much uh, pretty far ahead of me. I was just about to enter at eight and get my last Triforce. Eight was the longest dig for me. Eight was, yeah, that eight is disgusting, Kevin. If you get a chance, take a look at the map when you when you watch this back. That that eight took probably most of the the time that Cab spent in in Dang. any dungeon. I mean, that I can understand that because a lot of the dungeons were insanely fast. Like six was fast, two was very fast, five wasn't horrible either, and four early compass still. A lot of the there were them were really fast Triforces, and again, as you mentioned, if you go the right way in 7, it was a only a few screens away. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this again. I, I've... Yeah, I, I had all the odd-numbered dungeons done first, and then all the even-numbered ones except 8 went fast. Oh yeah, didn't even notice that. I just like vaguely remember noticing that like little odd fact while I was going through things, and then yeah, it, like you said, two was fast, four was fast, and by then if you had everything, you know, it's like, well, I really hope the white sword and the red ring aren't in these dungeons because I need to assume my opponent's not doing that either. Yeah, you want to assume they're on the way to the peg, and we're half right. Or, or buried somewhere deep where your opponent's not grabbing it either. But uh, yeah, GG to both of you. We do have a game three coming up. Uh, when do y'all think y'all are going to have that scheduled, or do y'all know yet? Oh, probably sometime uh, later this week. Yeah, let's let's pick a night and make it happen. Definitely. Looking forward to that. Uh, this is this has been an exciting uh, series to watch for two of you. Uh, winner gets Fred, so... Um, so yeah, that'll be fun too to watch as as this continues on. So um, fun to watch Fred dominate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys, look, you guys could take. Do you know how many bad out. seeds I need to exact revenge on him for? Exactly. Use that fuel. I mean, something like this could happen with uh, whoever uh, gets Fred. Like no, I mean, in, anything can happen in a rando. Uh, the the you know. The seeding doesn't mean anything once you get in these races, as we've seen. Yep, and we have plenty more races uh, for people to enjoy. Unfortunately, in a good chunk of time between then, next match, Antlers versus Willer J. Bradley at 7.30. Uh, game 1, um, Amazing Toasters versus Nochibado, uh, Nochibado at uh, 9 o'clock. That's a game 2. Uh, Captain Green, 7 versus Truant Gamer, also game 2. Dig Shake versus King Doll at uh, 10 o'clock. Sorry, uh, Dig Shake versus King Doll at 10 o'clock and Captain Green uh, versus Truant Gamer at 10 o'clock. So you're going to have to either watch two streams at once or or three streams at once. Sorry. Shaddy versus Slitic also at 10 o'clock. Uh, so three streams at once or maybe watch some VODs uh, later. Uh, but um, yeah, tons yeah, of fun. So yeah, so those first two races, the Antlers, Willard, and Amazing Toast, uh, you will be on Speed Gaming. Last three, we haven't decided on channels yet. That will be sorted out again a bit later. So always, as always, follow the uh, Z1 Randomizer Discord, check with Randomania, check with Speed Gaming's calendars, and you'll see uh, when we have those. Um, so I guess with that, um, any final thoughts from... Let's start with Kevin. Uh, honestly, I... I'm still not satisfied with how I played just in terms of execution, but it was it was it was an okay seed. It was it was an interesting seed. Kept you on your time. No, definitely. Mr. Cab, any final thoughts from you before we head out and y'all get ready for your game three? Uh th this seed is is crazy. It kind of speaks to the Dark Nuts and Wizrobes and Paul's voices on the overworld might be terrible, but if you can do the dance around them all maybe things work out uh beyond that you know the usual at, at this point as i'm slowly recovering and regaining my senses here uh just thanks for calling the race uh thanks everyone at speed gaming for letting us you know be dumb on this channel and have a tournament i guess and uh 
Yeah, GG, Kevin. We'll we'll do this one more time. I'm looking forward to that. August. Maybe two. <laughs> Any final thoughts on your? Well, uh, just make sure you give these racers a follow. Without them racing these races, we wouldn't have these races to watch being raced. And I, I think that'll do it. Yeah. So long, everybody.